Hello and welcome back to Smart Space Information Technology Blog. Today we continue reviewing a Linux operating system and how we can use command line. In today's tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how you can use a meta characters and operators. I know that I have covered some part in the previous tutorials, but today we're gonna more focus on meta characters and operators. So if you're interested, stay with me and I'm gonna show you how. But before we're gonna jump into Linux command line, I just wanna give you just a short review of what is exactly of meta characters and operators. So, uh, whether you are listing, whether are whether you are listing, moving, copying, removing, or otherwise acting on the files in your Linux system, certain special characters refer to us as meta characters and operators help you to work with the files more efficiently. So meta characters can help you match one or more files without completely typing each file name. So operators enable you to direct information from one command or file to another command of your file. And I just want to show you guys what I'm going to be covering. Uh, that's what a meta character this looks like. I'm not gonna cover all of it, but I just gonna just pick some of them. For instance, like asterisk, question mark, um, pipe, or arrow. Just any of them, and I'm gonna show you by example how you can apply them on the daily work of your Linux uh, when you work on the Linux operating system. I wanna tell you that uh, what is asterisk, question mark, and uh, dot in the bracket is going to do with your files. Uh, so the asterisk match any number of the characters, which is uh, as you can see from the right side over here, and the question mark is match any one character, and the dot or triple dot in the bracket match any one of the characters between the brackets, which can include a hyphen separated range of letters or numbers. So first, what we need to do, we need to just create uh, a directory. And inside of this directory, we're gonna create some multiple files which we can, after uh, by using meta characters and operators, try to find them by typing um, uh, asterisk and question mark or triple dot and search for them by using these meta characters. So, first, let's create the uh, directory for instance a test. Okay, let's create the test folder. So by typing command mkkdir space test name, you can create a folder as test. In my case, you can name your folder whether like whatever you want, give it a name. I'm gonna call it test because we just testing how it works. And inside this folder, we're gonna create of multiple files. And now we're gonna match up them with by using meta character command. So I'm going to go inside of this folder, and inside this one, I want to create this multiple file. So if you wanna, uh, you can use two type command. I'm gonna use a touch command, which is create instantly multiple files. So you don't need to create one by one by typing not a command and fill this. Uh, text file with any any letter so I'm gonna attach I'm gonna uh, use a touch command and by typing touch space you can give any multiple names you like so that we can after that match them up with a meta characters command so I'm gonna use like uh, fruits or uh, whatever anything that have multiple letters randomly so that we can match them up so I'm gonna give it Apple name, for instance, banana. Uh, what else? Uh, grape. Uh, grape. Uh, 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 food. Grape food, for instance, um, and water. <coughs> Watermelon, for instance. Let's go. And by hitting enter, you can check that I have created a multiple files inside of my test folder. 
in test directory. And now we can use this um, uh, meta character to find this. For instance, if I forget what was the name, if it was a grapefruit or watermelon, or in your case, it could be um, some different long, long names. And you don't, if you don't want to type this name, you just can use meta characters so that you can match them up by first or last letter, the ending. So in my case, I'm going to show you my example. If I want to type, uh, and don't forget, I'm right now inside of the test folder. So Dom mixed me up. So do you know where exactly? I'm not backward to my uh, uh, Py folder, my home directory, right? I'm inside of the test folder where I'm using this meta character. So I'm going to use first list command and A and asterisk. In that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to match up whatever is starting from A letter is going to show up me first. So, as you can see that I have found the new file that we have created, Apple. That's what it started is by letter A. So, Apple, Banana, Grape, Grapefruit, and Watermelon. That's just the one name that started from A. That's when you want to find by first starting letter, you have to type the first letter that you know that you wish to find and after that you have to type asterisk and type enter so after that first I want to find whatever started on the G so what we're gonna do is type ls space G asterisk and enter and as you can see guys that I have found two files which is starting on G which is grape and G which is grapefruit what if I want to find the file which is starting on, for instance, on a G and ending on and with a T letter? What am I going to do with that? So I'm going to do type list space G asterisk and T and type. And as you can see that I have found the first starting letter is G and the last starting letter is T that we have mentioned in this command. But if I want to find something that is match one letter that is inside of the files, for instance, the E letter, and I don't remember what exactly name started from letter and the ending, but I know exactly that uh, letter E, for instance, is going to be inside of this file. And I want to find this just randomly. So let's type in ls space asterisk for instance E and asterisk again and you should type and it's gonna find whatever is found E in any files is match up so apple ending on E grape ending on E and uh, uh, grapefruit has one E letter inside of the grape name and watermelon has E letter inside of the watermelon name that's it's gonna it just what it does it just match up anything that has e letter uh, for instance what if i want to find n letter inside of this multiple files that i have created so we got to type ls space asterisk n and asterisk again and it's going to find me anything inside with the n letter Banana has two ends and watermelon has one end. Here's a few examples with the pattern matching with a question mark. For instance, ls, I'm gonna move my mouse here so that you can see, ls uh, space, for instance, what a file, I, I don't remember exactly the name of the file, but I know it's ending with the e. And let's say I know the quantity of letters inside of the file. Let's say, uh, I know the apple, but I, I, I don't forget it's apple, but I know it's ending with an E. Let's say um, the, has, the, the name has the name have, uh, four, five letters, and I know it's ending with an E. And it's going to find me uh, the, 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 the name of the files, which it has five 
letters and each of them is ending with the E letter as you can see that so the first one question mark corresponding to the first letter the second question mark corresponding to second letter and the third one corresponding to the third letter and the fourth one corresponding to the fourth that's the way how we can uh, use a, this pattern to find a word let's say I remember the first letter and ending letter but I don't remember exactly what is uh, inside uh, in the middle of this name of this file let's say uh, I remember um, let's type place like this ls and uh, g and three question mark and e I know you guys are <clears throat> you know what is gonna be the letter but let's say you don't remember exactly the full name of a grape but you do remember a G letter and E letter and by the typing the exact match quantity of um, <clears throat> um, letters inside of uh, inside of this name you can match up exact name that for instance you are looking for right and let's say you are trying to use a brackets for finding the file uh, the following example use a braces uh, uh, sorry not bracket braces uh, to do the pattern matching let's say uh, I want to use um, uh, braces uh, for three letters that I know is should be in some of these multiple files uh, and brace we're gonna type uh, like so a b w for instance any letters uh, it should be appear inside of this uh, inside of this multiple files that we have created so by typing uh, ls space braces and inside this braces a b w and uh, close the braces and asterisks you can find anything that's match up with the A letter like here in the braces in banana has an A watermelon has an A and um, uh, what else banana has a B letter which is in the braces too and the watermelon has a W which is uh, <clears throat> inside of the braces as well uh, let's use a different meta character uh, for instance ls space um, braces um, A letter uh, G letter W letter then braces close then asterisk and the new braces open it, for instance an E I know anything that is uh, ending with an E and as you can see anything ending with an E and N so a G W is a starting letter which is A apple G grape and W watermelon and the asterisk the next one braces in sinus and braces and E this is the ending format which is uh, E with the E E with the grape and uh, watermelon finding, uh, finishing with the N that's the different pattern that you can use for finding any um, files that you don't remember exactly the name but you know the letter starting in the ending letter uh, it's up to you how we can use either it's the, uh, the asterisk or question mark or braces it's all up to you guys um, and the one last one that I want to show you guys is for instance uh, let's use ls space braces and a hyphen G and braces close and now we're gonna put, uh, put the asterisk in that case we provide the range from A to G letter and whatever is A to G by using asterisk in the end it's gonna match up anything in the range of these letters so from A starting to G finishing G A um, <clears throat> this is the range of this that's just showing the range of the letters that you can find inside of this 
test folder that we have created. That's one more uh, meta character that you can use. <clears throat> um, that you can use for finding your files that you don't actually remember, but you do remember uh, the letters inside of these files. And you guys should know how you can use meta character and operators in your Linux command prompt. And if you like this video guys, please subscribe to our channel or hit likes if you want to see more interesting videos and tutorials by Smart Spain. So I'll see you guys in the next part.